Hi everyone, this is Secret and I thought I'd just come on and do a video and share with you guys what I'm up to, what I'm doing, what I'm gonna do and I'm just here to share what I'm doing. I'm not here to teach anything, just sharing. Maybe I will inspire you guys somehow or you just need the company like I usually do at night because I'm probably up the latest. I know I'm up the latest in this family. Let me show you what I'm doing. So, I'm in a group called Deconstructive Art, Deconstructed Art Journals. And that is a group on Facebook. If anybody interested, just uh, message me and I'll give you an invite to the group. So I have these leftovers from, these are file, fo file folder, file folders. And basically what it is, is the tops. How did this go? That just doesn't make sense, look. Oh, I know why, because there's a part right here missing. So this here is the tops of these. So from the file folder, I cut. Goes this way, right? Yeah. Cut this way, and I cut that way. So I end up with this piece as an extra, which are these over here. You see that? And then I end up with these. Okay, I have these set aside. And I have all of these set aside. And last night I was just in here messing around. With a bunch of blanks. These blanks. And quite a few of them. I've made quite a few of the deconstructed art journal covers. Okay, so last night I was messing with them. Um, just while my husband made me some business cards. Let me share with you guys. If I could find them. Right here. So he used some of my art. He scanned it and then he messed with it. But anyways, while he was doing that in the room, I was in here painting and messing and splattering. I have splatter all over my monitor right now. It doesn't bug me. So I was in here messing. This is what I came up with. And I think they look pretty cool. And then I was thinking, what am I going to do with them? I have two options in my head right now. Basically, just cutting them in half. I think I'll leave the tab. Benini, stop. That's one of the dogs. Stop. Spray water at them. <laughs> They're misbehaving. I can cut it in half and use them as postcards. I've been sending out lots and lots of postcards, not only in swaps, but I've been sending out postcards to people who have become close friends to me, like Kat Han and Linda, and then people who have been making donations for the fundraising that I'm doing um, for the new puppy that I have, which I still haven't reached my goal. My goal is $230. Right now we're at $137, so we're almost there. And people would have been making donations, I've been sending them, asking them if they would like a postcard or if they would like one of the rings that I showed in my last video. Let me see if I can find one right here. So this ring is inspired by a rose. And so these are $5 plus shipping or I offer them a postcard. So I'll go through my postcards just in case you guys um, want to make a donation. Anything helps. Don't 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 feel bad if you can only give a dollar. Like that dollar will help. 
if you can give 50 cents that 50 cents will help like 50 cents 50 cents it accumulates like it really does and the reason I say that is because when you um, donate you have to put the amount and it at it at it'll ask you um, if you want to put your name now if you're gonna give me 50 cents put your name I want to know you gave me 50 cents I want to know if you gave me five hundred dollars it makes no difference to me it helps it really 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 helps like I pick up cans I pick up bottles I pick up pennies everything helps so um, yeah just don't do it on the donation cha um, button here on my YouTube I don't even know how that got there like that shouldn't even be there nobody make donations there somehow I must have activated it one night I didn't finish activating it I never connected a credit card to it and I don't know how to disable it don't give donations to there if anybody wants to give donations you can donate to my PayPal which is secret at creative birdie dot com and then if you make a donation it'll come back at you and it'll say thank you and it'll say my husband's name which is George Manrique or Jorge Manrique anything helps even if you got a spare quarter it helps anyways and if you would like a card after making a donation I'll be more than happy to send you a card now this video wasn't supposed to be about this but now that I got your attention and I have you here, why not? I'll do anything that I possibly can that's ethical to raise money for any cause that I find worth it. Well, there's many out there though. So those are those cards. So the reason that was brought up, as a matter of fact, my business card is based on this card here. Um... So I can turn these into those kind of postcards or my other option is to put paper in there and sew it in or hand sew it in and they become little journals little signatures you see that this one's still a little wet this here this design here that you see is from what Linda sent me I've been using this like crazy <laughs> you'll see right now so I like this effect going over I really do like that effect so if it were a signature it would look something like this that would be the back or they can be postcards I have not yet decided you see that so there would be either the front or the inside whichever way I really like this and I like going around and over that's that and that's that and these splatters here they went that way all over my monitor <laughs> they sure did that's okay these here I'm pretty sure everybody has some there's just some punchinella, this one like that. And I didn't even use a special brush. I ended up using this mm, brush here. I love the way that looks. And that's that all of my paints weren't even near me. All my paints are outside right now. Uh, there's not enough room in my room to have my paints next to me. So what I have next to me are just random piece, random bottles of paint. So that's what we're going to work with in this beautiful drop paper that is being created at the same time. So I thought, hey, I can inspire somebody tonight or whenever. And as a matter of fact, what is today? Today is March 12th, 2015. It is 11.30 at night. I ain't got no shame in my game. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to just create. Or do. And keep you guys company or inspire you guys. I'm not here to teach you. I'm just here to show what I do. I have a 
old makeup brush. It just happens to be next to me. It's all funky. I'll be using that. I'll be using this poor guy here too. It's not that I didn't take care of the brush. It's just, they're just not quality brushes. You see there's hair coming out of this. Plus it's supposed to be for makeup. So what I've been doing is just grabbing water and watering down the paint like a lot. Now is this the right way to do it? You know what? It's just the way I'm doing it and it's what I'm enjoying doing. And it's making making a mess one <laughs> and making those over there that I just showed you guys and I'm enjoying it it's basically what it is for me just enjoying what I'm doing and sharing with you guys then I would just move that up Did you guys see that? Say, please tell me you, you're not seeing that. <laughs> then I would grab. I just, I'm just having fun. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, having fun. Getting paint on blank surface, basically, giving myself backgrounds to work on. And let's grab another color, whatever, whatever's here. Now this is some cheap, 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 cheap paint. Like I might have picked it up at a yard sale for like 10 cents. You guys mind if you wait while I go get some water? <laughs> I'm back. Now this is seri some serious play here. Because one, I'm going to take that off and I'm just going to work with this. Like I'm really not even caring. Just playing. being careless with this brush. I'm just enjoying my my art time here in my room. Like I said, it's pretty late. Nobody's really up. All I hear is the crickets. I hear the toads. I hear the frogs. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but I sure can. And once in a while I'll hear uh, a car go by, which I try to pretend that it's not a car. I pretend that it's a wave, you know, like I'm near the ocean. I wish I had some blue, like a denim 
old denim color I think would look nice. Maybe one of my darker blues I could mess with. is what I've been doing. I think this one's done. I want to add blue to it eventually. Set that aside. I think that one's done. This one's asking for more abuse. So we'll do that. I hear it screaming. Please abuse me some more. I am thirsty. So let's give it some water. This one's way done. I love it. Put that aside. I wish I had like some kind of hanging rack. I mean, it's not impossible. I just haven't gotten to it. I love the way this one looks too. And this one's asking for purple. You guys hear it saying, and dame, dame purple. Give me it to me. You see this color back here? I need to do that here. Oh, I love the way this looks. Sound like uh, those papers right now, they're so wet. When I flap them right now, it sounds like uh, skin. <laughs> What a creep. It's just a great way of getting a lot of backgrounds done all at once. Using ugly colors that you normally wouldn't use and just throwing them together. Like It looks like rust. Look at that. That looks like rust. And I really want to throw some kind of blue. Let me see what kind of blues I have. Mm. I have this one blue. For right now, that I have probably one more, two more. But they're in the backyard. Oh. Same thing. They're just really thirsty tonight.
Let's see, that one's done. Look at how pretty that is. <laughs> that is very, very, very pretty. Oh, you know what I need? What Shannon has and what Gina has, those um, car moppy soppy things. Uh, Shamwells, I think they are. I know where to get them. I just can't do that right now. I can't buy anything. Can't buy nothing right now. I'm really, really not doing it. I'm really, really like stuck on putting together money for this puppy. I just think that they, you know, it's very, very important as a pet owner to have their shots. And unfortunately, really, really, like, really, really, we can't afford this puppy, but I sure have the room for the puppy. And I have food to feed it. And I sure have that all the love to give to the puppy. But for the extra things like the vet bill, no. No, no, no. No money for that. But it would, didn't stop me from saving the puppy. Might as well bring the whole water hose in here, right? But look how pretty it's looking. Can't wait till that dries. And that's how I end up with these backgrounds and these papers back here. Polly should pull out another one. Let me grab one. Would you guys kill me if I came over to your craft room and do something like this? <laughs> That's why I'm not there and I'm here. Nobody can tell me what to do in my room. <laughs> Look at that. I really like that. That's like a blue rust. Yeah. Did I know we were going to go there today? No. Have you guys checked out Kelly Donovan from Knitting and Things? Her Odd Girl doll. It's got me so addicted. She puts up a video every single day on what she's going to add to the doll. And I've been giving her suggestions. She's such a sweetheart. She's such a doll that she'll, she gives me the credit. She says, thank you to me, and says my name, gives me a quick shout out, and says that she's taking that suggestion, suggestion into consideration, and she does it, and she loves it, and I love inspiring her. I love inspiring anybody. That's why I say I'm not here to teach you. I'm here to inspire you and show you what I'm doing. She 
you haven't checked out Kelly Donovan, I'll put the link down below. And I actually have been messaging her today because I have an idea. And I'll let you guys in on the idea once I work everything out with her. Since she's such a doll and a sweetheart. Oh, you know, some people... Some people can be haters. I won't mention anything. Um, but you know what? We're all different. All of us are different. We accept who we want into our lives and we get rid of what we want. Right? So. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Look at that. I love it. Enjoying, enjoying. The light's getting... <laughs> Look what I'm doing. I'm hanging my paints to dry on my light. Terrible I am. But it's my room. And everything's painted. And it looks nice and spluttery. Now I'll come back and do the next technique if I'm going to do anything to it. I'm pretty sure I'm just from here would add like the stencil. Oh, I love that. So like this. I love it. Love it. Yeah, I got that from Kelly. Love it. She's always singing. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to dry these up and then I'll come back and show you guys what they look like dry and then see what we do from there. Nothing's planned. Just, just playing. See you guys. Bye-bye.